Revolting. Overweight Australian struggles to fit in car. What a pack of dogs. Now, this is based off yesterday's story when Kyle... (laughs) was saying that he couldn't fit into a race car. It must be a slow news day in the United States. For Australian radio DJ Kyle Sanderlance, oh. <laughs> excitement quickly turned to shame during a recent visit to a Sydney motorsport track. <laughs> the notorious shock jock was left red-faced while attempting to take a joy ra- ride in an Audi race car. Disturbing vision. Disturbing. <laughs> Fat shaming. Posted to social media shows Sanderlance, 49. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm not 49. Struggling to wedge his bulbous figure oh my God. inside the luxury sports vehicle, <laughs> even with assistance from multiple pit crew. Oh. He repositioned himself multiple times in a desperate attempt to squeeze behind the wheel oh. as stunned onlookers tried to keep him calm. <laughs> what? Stunned onlookers. The Australian broadcast veteran, now a swollen version of his former <laughs> self. What the absolute... Eventually conceded defeat, staring down the barrel of the camera and admitting that he was fighting a losing battle due to his hefty frame. My ass is too fat to fit, he confessed, visibly ashamed. <laughs> Less than 24 hours later, Sanderlands was in good spirits about his pitiful physique, joking about... Pitiful this. physique? Joking about the incident on air with his Kiss FM co-anchor Jackie O, but health and wellness watchdogs aren't laughing. Oh, here we go. Some bloody, <laughs> bloody doctor from somewhere saying, oh, he's in desperate need of, of surgery. Obesity is among the biggest challenges facing the Australian population, with over 60% of the country considered obese and 10% considered severely obese. <laughs> Kyle and Jackie O made light of this public health crisis, taking calls from fellow overweight Australians in a bid to make Sanderlands feel better about his own dire health. That was true. Car manufacturer Audi have shrugged off suggestions that they need to get with the times, assuring consumers that despite Australia's obesity epidemic, (laughs) an overwhelming majority of drivers are able to enter the vehicle with ease. (laughs) Oh, thanks Audi for backing me up. (laughs) Not everyone is as large as Kyle, an Audi spokesperson pointed out. Who's this spokesperson? (laughs) They're finished. Audi certainly have no plans to alter the size of our interiors. This is an isolated incident. Hang on, this isn't a normal (laughs) Audi. This is an $800,000 tricked out race car. And it's certainly very rare for someone to not be able to physically fit in the driver's seat of one of our cars. Well, I encourage anyone at Audi, stop buying them. Even though I've had several Audi. Only (laughs) lying. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> this isn't oh. a real article. Sorry, Kyle. <laughs> oh, you go, okay, Jordan. right. Okay, well, I withdraw my comment. I do, I've had a couple of Audis myself. That's why I was so upset. So that's not a true story. Nah. Whose idea was this? Well, I can't remember whose idea it was. Do any of you guys remember whose idea it was? Yeah, DB, actually. DB, is that right? <laughs> what a piece of shit that bloke ended up being. <laughs> We tried to write the most derogatory article. Oh my god! I wanted to, I wanted you to na- give me the name of the know, person you know. that wrote it. I was gonna have the boys go and take care of that. Oh, anyway. Wow, it's funny. You know what? You're going to get the revenge. I'm going to put the revenge on you, Jackie. Go for it. Yeah, I don't you go. always say you will, but you never do. I will. Oh, you're too lazy. No, I th- <laughs> stick the knife in one more time. <laughs>